Sure, so we are running through the show today. We've been uh, getting, getting off book, getting the scripts out of our hands, so now we are up and in action, and we're basically just trying to find all of our moments as actors in the show. Let fall thy blade on vulnerable breath. The trunk show is really awesome. We are focusing on a, a few different things. Um, PTSD seems to be a, a big focus in this, which is a very, very interesting thing to do with a number of different Shakespeare scenes and monologues. That... Uh, well, I'm excited to play Joan again. I got to play Joan of Arc at Magenta Giraffe in St. Joan, and now I get to play Shakespeare's um, Pucelle, and I'm super excited about that because I missed her. So, and I get a sword fight, which is something that I've never done before. So I get to learn broadsword stage combat, which has been quite an adventure. They were well at peace when I could leave. Well, I've really enjoyed my time working with Sarah. Um, she is an excellent director. Um, lots of fun. She knows her stuff, and I've actually learned quite a lot. I might be English, but I didn't do Shakespeare or classical theatre. And working with Sarah, like she's super knowledgeable and she's really good at like breaking things down so you know exactly what you're saying so that the audience knows exactly what they're hearing, which is the challenge of Shakespeare. In this show, I am playing a number of different roles. I'd say the, uh, the standout ones might be Iago, Romeo, Henry V, and um, Harry Hotspur. Laughed at my losses, mocked at my gains, scorned my nation. So we're doing, um, we're doing what our director Sarah calls a trunk show. So think of it almost like a musical theater review, but instead of different songs by like Sondheim or someone, it's all different Shakespeare scenes, and it's around the theme of love and war. It's a scale due to, but in the estimation of a hair, thou diest, and all thy goods are confiscate. The biggest challenge for me, I go from. Uh, Amelia's speech in Othello, which is quite light, and then I switch gears and have to become Ross in Macbeth. Uh, the challenge for me in particular isn't necessarily the tragedy versus comedy, those sorts of emotional jumps. It's more of the like masculine energy versus feminine energy. But because it's so small and it's the same people in every scene, um, we've been able to develop um, rhythms quicker than I might with, with the rest of the cast and that's, that's been really, really awesome. I think for the most part, even if people don't specifically know the play, we've still, across the show, got all the, all the different quotes you could think of. We've got Hath Not A Jew Eyes, we've got Romeo and Juliet on the balcony, my bounty is as boundless as the sea. So there's, a, there's enough things that people will be able to grab on and go, oh, I know that one. It's the greatest hits.